One. Good evening. This is the Big Coach Leonard Parker Show, and I have Harlan Cyprian. He's a sophomore at Liberty High School, and uh, we're on site at the Parker Retirement Resort. And happy to have you on the show, man. All right. So I'm going to miss Cyprian. So you're a sophomore at Liberty, and you play uh, a couple sports, I heard. What you play? Uh, we play and play football. Okay, fine. Uh, I uh, heard you're a pretty good student too, huh? Yes, sir. What's that great point there, man? 3.8. Ooh, watch out, 3.8. All right, you, you, you're working on the ACT, I heard, huh? Yeah. You're going to a little tutoring session, I heard. Uh, 100 black men? Yeah. Okay, so that, that's some good stuff right there. Now look, so you're going into your junior year. So tell me, what would be like a short-term goal for you to accomplish some things during your junior year at Liberty High School? I, what I'm shooting for is, uh, I'm really shooting for like, like an all district accomplishment, like first team, second team. Mm -hmm. All of my best friends, if I can get that, but I'm really shooting for that I'm going into the season. Okay. I think a good goal would probably be like to say second team or first team. Yeah. You know what Arnold mentioned me, huh? Yeah. Your coach mentioned you, but you didn't get the votes. Yeah. But he at least mentioned you. Yeah. So that's what, so they, nobody didn't vote for you anyway. Yeah. Or you didn't get enough votes. So at least second team, and then maybe your senior year, maybe try to get into all state, all mentor. Yeah. Oh, yeah if you couldn't do it this year. So everything you do past 17 this year will be icing on the cake. Okay, all right, all right. So you know, what kind, as a high school kid, what kind of hobbies do you have outside of school? Outside of school? I tend to play a lot of games, of course. Okay, what kind of game? Uh, just like kids my age, PlayStation, like 2K, okay. all the other nice stuff like that. You like that? Yeah. You ever yeah. thought about going to school and majoring in how to you know, become a gamer? Uh, it was a thought of most of like as a young kid, but it wasn't, it wasn't as important as I knew. Mm -hmm. But you just want the fun of it? Yeah. Okay. I also, I'm in the gym a lot. At home. Uh -huh. At home, I mean, the benching, push ups, trying to make myself better as I ever. You gotta have it. You gotta love it. Yeah. So, so you're a gym rat? Oh, yeah. So, would you, would you say this? That's what we call it, gym rat. Stay in the gym, stay in the weight room. So, would you say this? Uh, but I know some kids like this now. They eat weights. Yeah. So your mama sprinkle some salt and pepper on the weights and you eat them up. <laughs> or you just live them a lot. You just live a lot. But that, that's what that's what I call it. Yeah. When, when you got a kid who in the gym so much and he be eating that weight, and I was one of them kind of kids, it's like he eating he eating weights. He loved weightlifting so much, like he eating weights, okay? So what would be your favorite sport? I know you got the powerlifting going on, you got the football going on. What would you be your favorite sport? Football. football, your favorite sport. Yeah, you love football. Yeah, okay, so tell me this: Why are you so passionate about football? It's something about it. Like, it's, it's almost hard to explain. Like something about the sport itself. Like, mm. it's, it comes with a, a dominance thing. Like you gotta, you gotta be like that to play the sport. You mm -hmm. can't, you can't, you can't be soft playing the sport. Yeah, it's contact, full speed contact sport. You're hitting everybody. Yes, indeed. I know it, man. I, I tell you what, sometimes I walk out on the practice field and I smell that grass. Oh, I'll be like, man, I'm, I'm, oh, you go in that locker room and you smell that, that jock smell. And it bring you back. See, you still smell it. Yeah. See, I'm away from it. But when I go and I smell that grass being cut and I know it's time for practice, I go in that locker room, I smell sweat, jock smell. In that locker room, it make you say, I know that, food. that smell is football. Yeah. Enjoy it while you can because sooner or later it's gonna leave your life ten years from now, whenever, and you're gonna really miss it when you got that kind of passion that you have. Yeah. Last question, man. We we gonna go something up. I know you're going to live in a great school. Yeah. Um, what do you think is one of the biggest problems affecting our high school kids? I didn't say football. I didn't say basketball. Our high school kids today. I believe so. Like. Social media has become a big thing in our lives, which affects our mental health. Mm -hmm. All the, I don't want to get too technical about it, but like when we sit on our phones all day scrolling, it up and down the phone, we're not doing too much. It's only staying up here. We're comparing ourselves to other people. Mm -hmm. A whole bunch of stuff like that. And it's, it's not healthy. That and, affects our mental health. And, 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 and if you don't even know what the other people that went through. Yeah. So they doing certain things. You don't even know what they're going through. Could be good, could be bad. But you're looking at their life and you're saying, I want my life to be like this. But you ain't going through the same thing they're going through. Yeah. 
So yeah. him, him. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. That's deep. That's deep. Yeah. What you see yourself doing in the future? Yeah. I know I, I know the little age is just going into your junior year, but you know, you know, they say they say this. Every five years a person evolves into a different person. Yeah. So when you see yourself five years from now, are you thought about that? Five years from now? Yeah. Five years from now, I couldn't answer you right now. Okay. And yeah. I understand. You gotta get a high school first. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sort of thinking about it. Yeah, so yeah. Wait, Mr. Harlan Cipio. He's a sophomore at Liberty High School. And he's on location today at the Parker Retirement Resort. And guess what? He'll be going into his junior year. And this kid say he loves football. And I, I see some big things coming up for him in the future. And um, but I'm finna go, and we finna go, and I'm finna see how he is on a pool table for a little bit. And um, we're gonna play with the Saints balls, because he is a Fairweather Saints fan. And we're going to see what he can do on his pool table. Um, and, uh, and we're going to see for him. So let's, let's, go on the floor. let's go see what you can do on his pool table. You say you like games, but we're going to see if you like games with a uh, physical situation. Come on over here, man. your pool stick. Mama, you can go sit on over there. Put that table. You, you, you pick the one you like, man. Now see, Harlan, let me tell you something. Now this, this is a Saints pool table. Now Saints pool table, we got to use Saints chalk. You can't lose that blue chalk on my Saints pool table, because you'll be there. Put some blue marks on my Saints pool table. Now I said, Harlan, you want me to break or you want to break? You want me to break? Okay. All right. We just, I'm just going to see a couple of Couple shots falling because we gotta go eat. We gotta go eat and everything. I'm looking for that rock. I'm looking for my NFL rock. Multiple bunch of put it in one of my rock. Yeah. 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 Now, Harlan, we do got these little uh, kitty sticks over here because sometimes you get jammed up on the wall. You might want to use a little kitty stick to help yourself out. Are you going to try that long distance shot? You know what they call that, huh? AT&T, long distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I wonder why Harlan didn't go for that little... That little ball right there, that cold ball. Why you gonna get that one? It's been too easy, huh? I like easy, ball. Sign my wall. 
But see, on the wall, we got, see, we got give thanks. Yeah. We give thanks to God. You know, him. And you see that, that love your heart, It's going to be just love it. help you get that all district every one day. Now, you can sign over here if you want. Or you can sign over here with all these people, okay? Eventually, we're going to see them sign over here. So we're going to put these, because we got to go eat. And I don't want to make mom mad. I don't want to make my other people mad. We got a barbecue going on. We got to go eat. But we're going to get you and your mom up on this ladder. And y'all going to sign my wall. And then we're going to eat. How that sign? And then we're going to give you a gift. Mark, where that uh, Mark is? It's right there in the bucket. There you go. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, Mom. Bobby, get on up there. We're going to hold this out of All right. Any way you want, Bob. Now, you know what they say. The heart shoe is up because it pulls out. So you might want to sign close to the heart shoe. You sign when you want. It's going to get to you anyway. There you go. We got to get some. So you're going to get some luck from both of them heart shoes. Twenty twenty six. Come on, mom. We gonna look. I want you to sit over there. And we gonna hold this lot of table for mom. And you gonna make sure mom don't fall hurt herself. All right, come on up here, mom. One. All right. There we go. Good. Just fall back there. If you want that one? Anyway, oh, I do so. I like that. Oh, look how quick she signed. <laughs> that dad's gonna sing to her. All right. All right. Thank you very much. What that gift for young man? Bring that gift up here, mom, right here. It's a heart of Sibion. Thank you very much for coming. And look, when you make a big and you become one of the best players in Baton Rouge, I'm going to get your head football coach over here and you over here with another player. And we're going to do it in the room on TV show. That sound good? All right, don't you make a big and be like, I can't make it, coach. Thank you for coming. All right. Heart of Sibion, sophomore, deliver the high. Be coach in the park show. <laughs>